Hey guys, I just wanted to post a response to a video that's getting a little bit of uh, notoriety. It's called Dear Fat People. Uh, two weeks ago, I've never even heard of this girl, uh, Nicole Arbor. She's apparently trying to make it as a YouTube comedian. Uh, but she put out that video, it's called Dear Fat People, where she spends most of the video saying that there's no such thing as fat shaming, and then spends the rest of the video pretty much proving herself wrong by fat shaming. Uh, I hate to name her or the, the, the video even in question uh, because it draws more attention to her but staying, not saying anything seemed like even worse of an option. So despite if you think that she's right or wrong, despite if you think she's funny or not, Despite if you think she's doing everything she can to be Jenna Marbles, uh, the real truth is if Nicole really cared about these people, that she'd want to help them by responding with methods that have actually been successful. Uh, successful for motivating people. Methods like love, kindness, support, you know, all those really important things. Uh, never in my life has, have I ever heard anybody who got bullied uh, really badly and then afterwards said you know all that was sure encouraging uh, thank goodness someone told me to eat healthier uh, because that's really all it needed was just somebody just to tell me uh, yeah yeah I just need to eat better that was what I've been doing I had no idea I thought if I just kept sticking donuts in my mouth eventually it might magically happen but luckily she was there to explain the intricacies uh, fixing the problem. Uh, yeah, that's that's happened probably zero times in the history of the universe, I would imagine. Uh, but I have seen people who get bullied get shamed into having eating disorders or even worse. Um, you know, I don't want to go into too much details because that's a terrible subject, but there are definitely people who are bullied into suicide and whether or not you believe that being overweight is somebody's fault uh, contributing to their mental well-being or injuring their mental well-being um, that can make a huge difference in somebody's life um, but see she's does she's not really after helping these people like she claims um, you know she wants her hits on YouTube she's packaging her hateful message in this little heart covered wrapping paper and she's telling she's telling us that she's hurting us because she loves us and we need to learn you know like a, like an abusive partner um, I think we all need to take a moment and realize that we all deserve kindness and love and take a moment to remember that we are all fighting our own battles. Uh, some people, some of us are feeling pretty good in those battles, you know. Um, uh, nothing that anybody can say is going to slow us down or um, make us question how we're doing things. We, You know, we feel pretty good. We still have our struggles, but we're, we're doing really well with them. Um, but there are some of us that are only hanging on by a thread. And those are the people that need the most support. And the worst thing is that those are the ones that are going to be the most likely to really get the full force of your message. And it's not going to have a positive effect. It's just not. Um, no one deserves to be treated any less than anybody else because of their body type or size. Uh, I would much rather point out that we should be a group of people or let's be the people that actually want to help each other up. I'm going to end the video with a Dalai Lama quote that I've always liked. Our purpose in this life is to help others and if you can't help them, at least don't hurt them.